Nice, you get less damage. That's cool. This one's kind of interesting. I don't know why you would need negative 80% heal. Or, what the fuck is this? 80% hearts? This one seems okay. Tragic. This is very, very tragic. This does 320 damage and 570... I don't know what the fuck that is. It's like a... Uh, artichoke? It's two pips and then one one storm pip. I think this will be the go-to, which is a buff. Buff? There are no buffs. There's only nerfs. There's no such thing as a buff. Not in King's Isle's eyes. And certainly not in their vocabulary. So you guys said that I have to be level 50, right? Skull pips start at level 50. Does that mean if I have a level 1 character who trained the spell, it's automatically useless because I can't use it? Okay, well, I, I took back what I said when, when King's Isle only hands out L's. They do hand out some, some W's, apparently. That seems fine. It's just more damage. Yeah, Storm Wizards are like the students that usually sit in the back of the classroom, and they usually receive Fs, but they receive their first A+, in the form of these spells, because it, it, it seems like an improvement. This one I didn't see. Lord of Night. This one sucked the most. So one costs more, it does less damage, but it also applies a, a negative 40%. So the Storm one applies a negative 80%, and it does more damage and it costs less. The gear is 160, but it's 150 in test for testing purposes. Damn, look at these stats. Hmm. Oh, oh, what the fuck is this? Oh wait, is this to enforce people to wear like the... To, to wear duo schools? This is better. You are no longer school locked for your secondary school. So I'm fine. Life, I can run death stats. Yeah, but... Y you gotta... You gotta think about this. So if I'm wearing this gear... Why... Why, why would I stick stats into like another school? What benefit does that serve me hitting with 45% damage? You can buff that damage to 100 with the pins. Okay, so we have 5 of these. 5 slots. So that's 100 damage and 25% extra piercing. So what, what does that net us? 145% ice damage. And 181% myth damage. Again, I have to ask the question, why? Like when we do get that, we get more piercing. Our critical rating is at 119. That is still decent though. You want to know what's decent as well? Let, let me show you guys. Hold on. So why would I go through all that trouble just to get stats like these when I could just have them to begin with? Like if I wanted to be another school, I could just do so. I'm really contemplating the, the advantages here, but I don't really see any. Unless it's PvP. Where you have an opponent and then they set a specific shield against you. Or like have abnormally high resistances. But one thing you gotta understand is. If you duo school, you have to fit a ton of, of shit a ton of shit in your deck. Where I can imagine already people already have a ton of their own school spells in it. Yeah, I, li I, I like alternatives as much as the next guy, but... You know, if you want to be a school, just play a, play the school. Okay, I got the best gear. Where's my where's my whiz babes? I thought when I got the best gear, I got all the whiz babes. Where are they? Are they hiding?